In this video, we're going to talk about our next laboratory exercise, an overflow detector, which is based on the results of already built tooth complement adder subtractor in the previous laboratory exercise. Later on, we will also discuss next homework assignment, which is a web form uh, covering principles of von Neumann computer model. I have already started my digital works environment so i'm ready to continue working on the project and this is the handout for our current laboratory so here's the set of topics for this week and i'm opening this overflow detection circuits presentation format of our handout and i already opened the results of my previous laboratory exercise, which is a 4-bit adder subtractor. So overflow condition occurs when arithmetic operations fail to yield correct results because of the limitation of the data types of our digital circuitry. So normally an overflow is occurs simply because the result is too large or too small, depending on which side of the scale, like negative or positive, you're looking at the result. And uh, it's impossible to fit this into the uh, resulting data type. So with the sign to complement numbers, in other words, um, both positive and negative encodings of numbers, the overflow simply derives from the situation where both operands are positive, like one value plus another value, but the result is negative. And on the other hand, when both operands are negative and we're adding them together, expecting even larger negative number, uh, but uh, the result uh, is uh, becomes positive. So larger, I meant to say the magnitude of the negative numbers is going to be larger, but we get a positive result. Let's see, we can <clears throat> reproduce uh, some of these results uh, uh, using our adder subtractor. So, of course, uh, this adder uh, subtractor is designed to handle uh, two complement numbers. And so let's try to add a couple of positive numbers which may be, for example, if I put this into simulation mode and switch over to object interaction, and for instance, this uh, value 0, 1, 1, 1, of course, it's a decimal uh, 7. Uh, so, for instance, if I want to add this with uh, another decimal <clears throat> 7, and right now it's turned... Uh, my subtraction mode is turned on, but if I turn this off, you see that positive 7 plus positive 7 yields something that looks like minus 2, so which is incorrect. This should definitely indicate an overflow uh, in, in this uh, situation that I'm having here. And uh, let's try a similar example with negative numbers. First, let me just switch off all of the bits, so we just uh, go back to zeros like this, and um, uh, we're still in addition mode of our device, and now what I would like to do is, for instance, skip A0 and set B to the biggest negative number. You know that the biggest negative number that should be encoded here is uh, 1, which is the sign bit with all zeros over here, and naturally this is negative 8, right? So right now 0 plus this is negative 8, so obviously this is negative 8. Everything wor works properly. But this is the biggest negative number that we can store in 4 bits. So if I decide to add this with another negative number, for instance, minus 1, which we know it's something like this, so the result is positive 7. So this is the second case where, where the both operands are negative, 
and the result is positive. So clearly this indicates that there is something um, unusual <clears throat> in this outcome. And we should be able to at least report, build some additional circuitry here, which will indicate some sort of a flag or output, which can be set to indicate that we have this overflow condition um, and see how we can handle it. Our little lab here indicates, to resize it a little bit to fit, uh, indicates uh, uh, that computers really don't have to know the difference between signed and unsigned binary numbers. You can see that um, the same circuitry, the same exact full adder, handles perfectly two complement and both signed and unsigned numbers. So this really becomes a programmer responsibility uh, to um, recognize uh, conditions which could indicate overflow when using unsigned numbers, only positive numbers, and another condition where we are dealing with tooth complement or signed numbers. So basically this is really a great thing that this same circuitry can handle both positive and negative without any, um, any significant effort uh, to, um, uh, to distinguish between them which makes our operations faster, run fast, uh, faster, uh, because it's the same circuitry, we don't have to build anything else. Uh, but the distinction is very important when detecting an overflow after addition and subtraction, of course, because we want to be sure that our results are correct. And we really must consider these two different cases. So that's a bit of a... Uh, uh, that's a bit of a challenge right here that uh, basically we need not one flag but two different flags to indicate uh, an overflow in situations where we're dealing with either positive or negative numbers and both addition and subtraction of them. So when we're adding unsigned numbers, let's see if we can first... Um, solve uh, or make a decision on how we're going to approach this indicator of an overflow for unsigned numbers or only positive numbers. So we can uh, solve it first for one bit quantities and you see that uh, uh, the last line indicates that we have a carry output because we say one plus one no longer fits in a single bit. So we need this extra bit so one bit quantity, of course, right here, can no longer accommodate one plus one. Therefore, a larger data type is required to succeed. And uh, uh, this uh, simply indicates that an, a carry out, which, by the way, is right here. This is the, uh, the full, full adder that corresponds in addition to the highest bit over here connected to, uh, to this full adder right here. So this carry out would be our signal to indicate an overflow in case of signed numbers. So we can just simply proceed to add this LED uh, somewhere in, uh, in this diagram right here, for example. I make a connection, use the wiring tool and make this connection just like this. And of course, if I attach it, it um, I, in the live mode, by the way, I'm already adding my two numbers. And if now I begin to think about them as they are unsigned numbers. So 1000, zero, 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 the positive value of this unsigned number is 8. And of course, the positive value of this is 15. So 1111. One, 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 it's just a number 15. So, of course, we can use the calculator, calculator to validate this and do bit-by-bit -bit addition using the, the calculator version. But we have our device that already is working. Uh, so here, 8 plus 15, of course, should not be 7. Rather, uh, in fact, let's open the calculator and uh, basically... Uh, try this exact case uh, with what we have. So I'm switching to a byte mode, switching to a bit representation.
and of course <clears throat> what uh, we have here is um, uh, basically this value which is positive 8 and we have another value which is right here number 15 and we add them together and our uh, device our full adder for 4 bit uh, gives us uh, the values 1 0 1 1 1 so if we set this up like this so we have three ones and one zero and one you can see that the result is 23 so it's uh, uh, 15 plus 8 of course is 23 so this carry out let's uh, give it uh, uh, add an annotation to this piece right here and uh, we can say that this is unsigned overflow. Okay, so this is this is what uh, what this indicator gives us. We call them flags in hardware. And um, also interestingly, that in case of a one-bit addition. If we add 1 plus 1, if you consider this to be the sum and this to be the carry from the highest bit, uh, notice that uh, nothing is lost altogether. So essentially carry flag becomes an extra bit in cases of unsigned addition. And besides indicating an overflow, it can also be used as an extra bit and therefore if we consider adding all of all of the bits together we get still a correct result but we are indicated here that to be able to accommodate this result we need a bigger uh, data size so this is uh, the case for the unsigned number so this is um, unsigned number addition